Hey everyone, here's a fun little recipe. Imagine we have a form and you want to you know, test this form. You can get the form and use the sci within command to limit ourselves to working with elements inside the form. For example, we can get the input with name email and type my email.com. Similarly, we can type the password and usually you would type the password you know, stored in Cypress N, for example, so it's not hard-coded. Notice that the input for type email, uh, type password has type password, so you don't see it. But you still see the email and the password in the command log. So if you want to hide them, I suggest using log false option. We don't see the password, but we still see the email. Sometimes you want to hide this from the video. Here's a nifty little trick. Right before you start typing it, you can invoke, using sci invoke, enter jQuery command, pass the name of a property you're interested in, or in this case attribute, sorry, and that's the type, and pass the new type. So we're going to switch for this input element, the attribute type from wherever it was, text, to value password. And now our form has both hidden email and the password strings. Perfect. Now all that remains is to get the button with type submit and click on it. And now we run into the problem. We are submitting a form which goes to you know, the actual page. In this case, it doesn't really work. So we want to prevent the click from actually going to the new URL. Here is a nice little trick that I can play right here. How do you prevent a form from performing action? Well, you attach an event listener for a click event and you prevent the default action. We can do the same thing. So, get the button of type submit returns as a jQuery object. We can invoke the click jQuery method and provide a callback. And all it needs to take is the event and we'll say prevent default. So, right from the test, we're attaching one more event listener which prevents default for that click. Well, we do want to make sure we click so we can invoke click one more time and pass, let's say, uh, a Cypress tab and we'll give it an alias click and we can see that it was called so right after we click on the button we can get the click alice and say it should have been called once for example we can also confirm that the form works differently we can use site intercept so let me remove my workarounds, right? And instead, before we click on the form, we'll set up an intercept. And because our form uses method post, we'll say method post URL is submit PHP. And now we need something to return, because we don't want to go to an existing URL. So here's where we can say status code 304 headers in the response location and let's see what happens okay now we clicked on the button it actually hit the sign intercept but it went nowhere because it returned a redirect back to the origin let's confirm that this works post and after we click we'll wait for the post what does the post have if we look at the console, click on the intercept, we can see request, response. Inside request, we can see the body. Our form sends all the fields. So here we can say its response body should maybe include you know, myemail.com. Now this fails because, because the body uses encoded value, right? my percentage 40 instead of at symbol so we can say encode URI component I 
like this. And now we're confirming that the submitted form indeed sends the email that we 